I've been involved in sports for the last um, 30 years. Uh, I come from a family of uh, swimming coaches, swimming teachers and swimming fans. So since uh, the age of eight I was teaching swimming um, uh, to, 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 to young people and adults. Um, and uh, by the age of 18 I had done my uh, swimming qualifications and really I was, uh, I'm a swimming coach by background. That's been always my, been my big passion. Uh, however, in, in recent years uh, I've been working for government, particularly for the Foreign Office and for the Department for International Development. And so I've had a chance to actually broaden my experience, my outlook and my skills uh, by working both in China, in Japan, as well as in Bangladesh and then back in the UK. So I think my advice to anyone that wants to break into this industry is to, first of all to have your passion for sport, that's absolutely a key ingredient. Uh, but then um, make sure that you broaden your, your, your experiences and your skills uh, by ensuring that you're kind of, um, you're developing those, those, those experiences by, through a range of, of, of jobs and opportunities and then you'll be able to kind of hone them in and, and really succeed in this, in this, in this sector. I've got two passions in life, one is sport, one is international affairs and international development in particular. And so uh, the thing that has inspired me here is actually, uh, in my career, is the, uh, the opportunity of being able to bring these two passions together. This is the, my current role as head of uh, international development at UK Sport, where I'm using sport as a tool for development and for global partnerships. And my advice to, to anyone in terms of, in, 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 of, that wants to uh, work in, 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 this, in this sector is to uh, be prepared and professionalise yourself. So as you're gaining sort of more and more experiences in, in not only in this sector but also in other areas of work, um, really hone those skills and sort of you know, make sure that you continuously develop but you start specialising in, in, in a particular area so that you do become sort of an expert in that and then you'll be able to kind of um, really sort of you know, move on, sell yourself and, and other people, other organisations will be able to benefit from that experience. My proudest achievement um, is really where I am today in, in my career uh, and that is a combination of sort of, um, as I said, of, of having spent the last 10 years um, cultivating my, my, uh, my passion for sport whilst also developing sort of a, a range of, of, of interests and experience elsewhere. And now I feel that um, everything has come together and I'm able to perform and, and fulfil this fantastic role that I, I'm in at the moment. And in terms of actually senior management and creating that right culture for success in UK sport, um, the highest performance sports uh, in, in, in the UK, um, we have a culture which is steeped in uh, three values, working in partnership, commitment to excellence, integrity and openness. And I think that makes the organisation that I certainly work for um, a real leader in, in, in its field. Uh, and I think actually those values are, are, are values that are transferable and applicable to a wide range of organisations. And then so long as you've got the right leaders um, that are able to embed that culture across your, your organisation, then um, you'll see that um, your, your staff and your organisation as a whole will achieve tremendous success. Be passionate. Have breadth of perspective and be committed. My greatest role model is Baroness Sue Campbell, who was the former chair at UK Sport and is the chair of the Youth Sport Trust at the moment. She's someone that the moment you speak to, she can reduce you to tears for the way she speaks so passionately about sport, the power of sport, not simply at elite level in terms of medal success, but also actually what sport can do for every child and every person out there, whether or not they want to take the sport to elite level or just purely at community or their social level. I very much hope that the students after the presentation um, will be able to take this message that sport is a vehicle for much greater things. Don't think about sport, just sport per se, but sport is a vehicle, is a passport for international awareness, for global partnerships, global col collaboration, um, huge legacy initiatives and you need sport, sport as a tool that empowers and develops you and the people around you. Mm -hmm.